Welcome to Suburban Life in Maple Grove. It's dinner time, you're starving. Where do you go besides just the chains? We got you covered. I got a few recommendations. My all-time favorite places where I love to eat when I'm in Maple Grove. Hey, this is Matt Adelman with Matthew Adelman Realty. If you're new to this channel, welcome. We are so thrilled you're here. This channel is all about everything that has to do with real estate and food in the Twin Cities, Minnesota. Maple Grove is, uh, it's a, a great suburb to live in. It's one of the top places in, in the city to, or in the, the Twin Cities to live. Huge city, uh, wonderful houses, lots to do. Um, and you know, the only knock that a lot of the suburbs get is that they don't have a ton of restaurants, great dining options to choose from. And I, I beg to differ, uh, in this particular city, Maple Grove, uh, definitely has a lot of really great places. And I, I tried my best to pick out the ones that I truly love that I actually really do eat at quite often, um, that maybe aren't the everyday run of the mill that everyone thinks of, uh, when they think of dinner in Maple Grove. So what are they without further ado, here we go. My uh, probably, and this is in no order, but I think this is probably my favorite restaurant uh, in, in Maple Grove, uh, and that's Three Square. Their food is awesome. It just is so good. Um, and for us, where we have little kids, we absolutely love Three Square because their kids' dinners are so great. They're easy, they're, they're fun to eat, the kids love them. They serve them in a little kid's tray, and they come with a cookie, and they, you know, got the little portions of on the plate. And and I think Three Square actually won uh, best restaurant for kids for good reason. They usually give like a little thing of goldfish or something right when you get there to, to make sure that the kids are, are, you know, held over until dinner served. Um, but it's great. Their food is it's as far as I can tell, scratch made. Their breakfast is awesome. If you want to go for brunch on a Saturday or Sunday, the Bloody Marys are great. Their beer selection is phenomenal. They partner with a local craft brewery. Uh, but the dinner is really where it's at for me. Little pro tip, it's not on the menu anymore, um, but they make the best beef stroganoff that I've ever had at a restaurant. I love it. I get it every time. Um, the servers that have been there for a while when I order it, they're kind of like, yeah, all right, you know what's up. It's it's a great place, but uh, I almost always go for that. It's, it's so good. They usually have a specials menu uh, with a lot of really cool seasonal items. Uh, so quite often, if I don't do the stroganoff, I'll do something off the specials menu uh, or I'll usually just go for one of their sandwiches. Uh, their food's great. My wife loves their salads uh, in the summertime. They have a nice little patio where we'll try to sit outside with the kids and uh, the food's just it's really good. I, I love three square and, and we go there quite often. <clears throat> so uh, next on my list, if you're wanting to, you know, have a fancier wine and dine uh, steakhouse type meal. I really like Pittsburgh Blue. Now, in full transparency, I'm going to be completely honest with you. <clears throat> About six years ago, we ate there and it was not good. Not at all. Like ne we said, we're never going back. I don't know what it was. Something. Something was just not good about the experience. And uh, and, and we crossed off the list. We weren't going to go anymore. And four years ago or so, we we went back and and we were just blown away. The the, the dinner was awesome. I am a sucker for a just great steak dinner. Uh, in Pittsburgh Blue, you know, all the times we've been there in the last four or five years has been really good. A huge menu, lots to choose from, uh, really fresh seafood, oysters, uh, lots of shellfish options. They make some great drinks, huge wine list. Um, and it's 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 a little spendy. Uh, it's a little over the top. Like it's it's kind of a, you know, fine dining experience. But uh, if you're in the mood for a steak or if you want to celebrate, you know, dinner anniversary, something really special. Um, when it comes to Maple Grove, I think Pittsburgh Blue is probably the place to go. Uh, I, I really do like it. They're part of, I believe it's part of the Parasol Group, which is a really cool uh, uh, restaurant company here in the Twin Cities. They have all sorts of great concepts throughout the Twin Cities that, um, you know, more often than not are, are really a good experience and, and we like most of them. So Pittsburgh Blue, I definitely put it on the list, uh, especially like I said, if, if you've got a, a fun occasion that you want to go celebrate, give it a shot. Uh, next on the list, uh, I feel like I'm cheating a little bit. I don't know why, but uh, the Highlander Grill at Rush Creek. Um, I guess I just don't think of Rush Creek as a place for going to eat because I just want to go golf when I go there. Um, but their food is really good. 
And here's a really great tip. Their patio in the summer is gigantic and it faces west. So if you're sitting on the patio having, you know, drinks or, or dinner uh, and it's a nice sunrise night, it is such a cool view and a really, really great spot uh, to, to, you know, take the kids, take the family, take just the husband and wife and go celebrate something. Um, sit on the patio and, and, you know, have a cocktail and an appetizer or whatever. It, it's awesome. Their food's great. If you go and you want an appetizer, even if you don't want an appetizer, order the wings. They're so good. I don't know what they do to them. It's some garlicky rub that they put on them and it's served with pickled vegetables. And I, I wouldn't normally order them, but we ordered them one day. It was four of us that were done golfing. We just finished our round. We ordered one. Um, we all had a wing and liked them so much. We ordered four more orders right there and that was our meal. It, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what they do to them, but they are so good. So give it a shot. Check it out. Um, Highlander Grill, the third restaurant on the list. Um, let's see where. Oh, yeah. If you are in the mood for Mexican, like some real good Mexican, you want to crush some chips and salsa and you want to get a nice plate of, uh, you know, fajitas or chimichanga or burrito or whatever. Teresa's Mexican is really good. Really good. Uh, you know, I've been criticized. Oh, it's not authentic. Yeah, it is. It, to me, it's very authentic. Their their food is great. I get the same thing every time. I get the paradilla platter. I don't know what it means. I don't think it's even a word. Uh, they always laugh at me when I order it because my, my Spanish is horrible. Uh, but it's a giant platter. Uh, fajitas. Fajita platter. It's got chorizo. It's got steak. It's got chicken. It's got shrimp. It's got mushrooms and squash and i mean it's huge and it's great and it's so good um so teresa's if you're in the mood for mexican teresa's is a really to me a great spot uh to give it a try let me know what you think uh what's next on my list i'm gonna switch gears a little bit and talk about um they serve food and they serve beer um but i guess you wouldn't necessarily think of them as like hey i want dinner uh so omni brewing is in Maple Grove and Omni makes some of the best craft beers in the state. I love their FAD fad uh, hazy IPA. It's so good. And their brewery, it's a really fun experience. You go in and you know, the craft, a lot of the craft breweries in the Twin Cities are really, really great places to go and have some beers. They usually have, you know, some food options available or have a food truck up front or, you know, in some cases the breweries will have an actual uh, restaurant inside of them. Uh, Omni is, it's just a really great place to go get some good beer. Um, so give it a shot. You can get their beer in most liquor stores now, but, um, you know, we prefer to just go to Omni and, and, you know, spend a couple hours there and have some, some beers. And the last place on my list, not dinner, not lunch, not anything, but celebratory. And if you watch the food network, or if you are a connoisseur of cupcakes, uh, if you are following the dessert scene at all in the Twin Cities, I'm sure you've heard of these guys. Nadia's cakes are, I'm just going to say it. They're the best cupcakes in the Twin Cities. And they're they are so good. We get them almost always for birthdays. Anytime there's like a really cool celebration that we're having, we'll drive up there and go get them. And the best thing, if you go there around April 1st, so April Fools, they do some really cool cupcakes. Um, they did one where it was like a cat's litter box. So it looked like litter box with the turd on it that was made out of chocolate. They do one called unicorn poop. Uh, <laughs> they just, they do these random cupcakes that are, they're just fun. Uh, and outside of those, I, I the sea salt caramel or the, they make a peanut butter chocolate one. I mean, those, I'm done. If I see those, if they're in front of me, I don't care. I'm going to eat four or five or 10 of them. They're so good. So check them out. Nadia's Cakes. Um, and if you're, you know, at Nadia's Cakes and you need lunch or dinner and you don't want one of the places I recommended, there's about 50 other restaurants within uh, a couple of blocks of Nadia's. But um, yeah, Maple Grove, it's it's come a long way. Their, their food selection is getting better and better and better. And as these keep building they're building constantly in this city uh they keep adding on you know these really cool uh restaurant options there's you know really great ramen now there's a korean fried chicken place crisp and green salads there's a shake shack there's wall burgers i mean there's there's all sorts of cool stuff now so those are my picks i would love to hear from you guys what did i miss uh you know i thought about throwing the lookout in there i thought about throwing mama g's in there but you know i just you can only pick so many so uh, what did I miss? Where do you love to go when you go out to dinner? Uh, and, you know, 
drop me a note below. Take care, everyone.